Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn. And for today's topic, I'm going to discuss the latest update at the U.S. Embassy in Manila. But before we get started, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Now, if you are a beneficiary of a visa, whether it is a non-immigrant visa or an immigrant visa, and there is a development in your case, then if you could please post in the comment section below regarding the status. Also, if you are a petitioner and you have received any status regarding your particular case, then please share your experience below. I will really appreciate it. The number one priority for the U.S. Embassy is to service its U.S. citizens abroad. For today's video, we will discuss different items such as non-immigrant visa wait times, K-1 visa processing, non-immigrant interview waivers, also non-immigrant priority travelers, in addition B-1, B-2 or tourist visa first-time applicants and renewals, and immigrant visa tiers for processing purposes, and the November visa bulletin. Now here is the wait times for non-immigrant visa and the K-1 visa processing updates. This is actually my third time to provide an update regarding the non-immigrant visa wait times in Manila and it is actually taking longer than usual. For non-immigrant visa visitor type, the wait time is 518 calendar days and students 49 calendar days and all other non-immigrant visas are 30 calendar days. In addition, I'm also going to update you regarding the interview waiver for certain non-immigrant visas and also for the renewal of B1, B2 visas. There are actually interview waivers for certain non-immigrant visas and these are only specific. There was actually an announcement from Secretary of State Blinken from the Department of State and he provided the extension of interview waivers. The Department of State has waived through December 31st, 2021, the in-person interview requirement for nationals of eligible countries applying for FM and academic J visa subject to certain conditions. Prospective FM and academic J visa applicants who are previously issued any type of visa and who have never been refused a visa unless such refusal was overcome or waived may be considered for waiver of the in-person interview requirement. In addition, B-1, B-2 or tourist visa renewals can be subject to interview waivers and it should be expiring within the last 48 months but the application must be submitted up to December 31, 2021 unless it is extended beyond December 31st which is actually most likely to be extended. Now, there are also priority travelers for non-immigrant visas and I'm also going to update you regarding the immigrant visa processing tiers and also the latest November visa bulletin. Because there is a backlog in the processing of non-immigrant visa applications, the U.S. Embassy in Manila has provided the priority travelers. First, those travelers with urgent travel needs such as a matter of life and death and second, foreign diplomats. Another set of priority travelers are certain mission-critical categories of travelers such as students and exchange visitors. Another set of priority travelers are temporary employment visa applicants, H1, B, H2, B, and L, non-immigrants. Now for those B1, B2 first-time applicants, visa appointments and processing for B1, B2 have resumed at significantly reduced levels meaning to say that the visa appointments have been stretched out until 2023. Now here's an update for the K-1 visa. The embassy is processing a limited number of K fiancé visa applications. If your fiancé petition has expired, a consular officer will determine whether it can be revalidated at the time your interview is scheduled. Do not contact our office now about rescheduling your interview expiration of the petition or a medical exam. I would advise 
to wait for the official notification from the U.S. Embassy in Manila. K-1 visa processing is in the Tier 2 category and this is processed as an immigrant visa application. Most of the questions I received are those B-1, B-2 first-time applicants and also B-1, B-2 renewals. Please remember that B1, B2 first-time applicants are in low priority. It's the Embassy Processing Tourist Visas. The U.S. Embassy in the Philippines provides non-immigrant B1, B2 visa interview appointments as resources and safety conditions permit through our online appointment system. Now, because of the long visa wait times, the appointments have been stretched in 2023, meaning to say that there are no more slots open in 2021 and 2022 because there's a lot of people applying for B1, B2 visas. So if you are in this category, please post in the comment section below. For the visa fee, the embassy will extend the validity of your payment until September 30, 2023 to allow all applicants who are unable to schedule a visa appointment as a result of the suspension of their routine consular operations. Now, let's talk about the immigrant visa. First, let's discuss the medical appointments and there is a statement from the U.S. Embassy in Manila. Now let's talk about the immigrant visa. I'm talking about expired immigrant visa. There are Filipinos who are in possession of expired immigrant visa. So here's the actual statement. Can I extend the validity of my expiring visa? Unfortunately, we cannot extend the validity of visas. However, in some cases, we can replace unexpired immigrant visa if an applicant was not able to use the visa due to circumstances beyond his or her control and all eligibility requirements continue to be met. You may submit your passport with the expired visa and a signed letter explaining your inability to use your immigrant visa for travel to the United States to the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines via any branch of to-go courier in order for us to begin the replacement review process. Now, here is the priority order for the processing of immigrant visa. There is actually an immigrant visa tiers in which they prioritize certain visa applications. First, tier one first priority. This include immediate relative intercountry adoption visas, age out cases, cases where the applicant will soon no longer qualify due to the age and certain special immigrant visas. Now, under the Tier 2 or Second Priority category, most of the applicants are in this category, immediate relative visas, fiancé visas, and returning resident visas. Returning resident visas are those green card holders who stayed outside of the U.S. for one year. Now, for Tier 3 or Third Priority, these are family preference immigrant visas, F1, F2A, F2B, F3, and F4, and SE special immigrant visas for certain employees of the U.S. government abroad. Now for the fourth priority or tier four, all other immigrant visas including employment preference and diversity visas. Now here is the November visa bulletin, and most of these are for family preference visas. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.